What's up, everybody? So we're back out in the garage again today. We're going to talk about checking out these wastegates. Also going to lap the valves on the wastegates, clean them up, put them back together, show you how to do all that. Show you how they come from BS Racing. I've got one that I've already partially disassembled. Another one is as it came. So here's how the wastegate comes the BS Racing. This is 50 millimeter V-band wastegate. Um, I guess it's like a clone of maybe a Turbo Smart, maybe a Tile, I don't know. But you can already kind of see a good amount of dirt or metal shavings or something. It's not supposed to be in there, but I'm gonna go ahead and take it apart and we'll look together. Here's your fire ring that comes with it. Seats on the valve. This is what we'll be lapping just to get this mating surface mated to this valve. It also comes with a pair of B bands. And some air fittings. I've already taken one of the wastegates apart. But I'll show you. I'm gonna take this apart with you. It's gonna be like a cooking show. All right. So being that it's from China, it is gonna be metric. I got my little metric gallons. There we go. Make sure it doesn't go flying. You know what? I'm gonna get the ball tips. I'm going to get vaulted for that. I got the ball tips just so that I don't tear up the fancy anodized dome. All I'm doing, got it on the first setting on my impact here, just backing these off. Not going to take them all the way out, even though I'm at a distance. I don't want to put a hole in my garage door above me. Back them out a little bit at a time. Keep it going. Two more now. Oh, there we go. Woo. Didn't see that coming, right? Let's see how many bolts we lost, boys. We got one flyer, and I heard it fall by my hand. Spends the better part of their day in the garage looking for stuff like that. Alright, 
we found it. It's all good. It took me a little bit by surprise. I had done the other one already. Surprised. Everybody knows these things come with all the springs installed. <laughs> I shouldn't be surprised. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six iron bolts. Screws, bolts, whatever you call them. Alright. So, this is, you're going to have both springs installed. I have no idea what pressures they go to. I don't know which one's the lightest, but. We'll check them. I feel like this is going to be the lighter spring. Makes sense since it's a shorter spring. So here is how the wastegate diaphragm looks from the factory. This one is not so bad as the other, which I just, before I decided to start making these videos, had taken apart. You can see bits of metal here and there all over this. It's no big deal. I'm going to take it apart and clean it and I'll show you how. So, like I did in the voiceover in the last, or like I was saying in the voiceover in the last video, this truck's going to be making hopefully about 1,200 to 1,300 horsepower, and I'm hoping that that's fairly easy on these turbos. I know these turbos have been proven video after video uh, by sloppy mechanics to be an excellent recipe in single form on an LS to make. 750, you know, 800, blowing through converters. I just wanted room to grow. All right, so now we've got the diaphragm off. Let's take a look in here. How about that, boys? I got rid of, I'm gonna make you sick. I got rid of my lens. All right, so this is this the stuff that was in here already. Focus. There we go. Let you take a look at this valve. So, not the best quality control. No big deal. Again, we're just going to be reading. We're going to be taking this apart, checking it out, putting it back together. Now, as far as the valve stem, it does have some wobble. No big deal. I'm counting on you guys. You got to tell me if I'm out of frame. All right. So. You just gotta know to put it back together, clean it up, take it apart, not necessarily in that order. So now I'm gonna take the valve out. We're gonna take a look, see, check out what they did was after they finished the machine work, they just threw some oil on here, shoved it in this uh, wastegate housing, and went on about their day, making hundreds on hundreds of them. So we're gonna clean this guy out. See if we can get these burrs out of here. Thing to try to do is make sure you use danger fittings on this thing instead of the ones that they supply. The uh, supply fittings will, will insert into here and they will rub on the diaphragm as well. The danger fittings won't, at least so I'm told. It feels a lot smoother, it doesn't look great. I'm just getting to it with what I can with the trusty old American weatherman. But. I feel like the burrs on that focus. Thank you. 
a little better. This one's actually not as bad. Well, how, do, how does it stay greasy? Things aren't supposed to be greasy after brake cleaner. I got another idea. Like, I don't know how long I haven't been recording. So, use the Dremel Scotch Bright wheel. Got inside of here. Smooth that out pretty good. Did the same on the domes. Real smooth now. No sharp edges. Um, I've also gone and Clean them out with some carburetor cleaner and brake cleaner and just trying to keep everything clean. So the machining on the diaphragm base, maybe? I don't know. It was it was pretty uh, rough. So the original ones, you can't really, I don't know if you can even tell. The edges in here are all sharp. Um, I know, understand that they're locating springs, but I just kind of made them smooth on this one and cleaned everything out. That's all I've really done there. And then I'm wiping down the silicone here with just a, a blue towel just to get as much of the metal off as I can. Wiping it down and air blowing it. All right. Got all this pretty well cleaned up. Now, the next step that I'm going to do is going to be lapping the valves. <clears throat> so, got a little baby vise set up here. We're going to put this valve back in the tool and lap her in. So, nothing super fancy about doing this. I'm going to go ahead and put my anti-seize on the valve stem. Just a little dab. Doesn't take a lot of this stuff. just gets everywhere but anyway old t-shirt rag the old shirt rag trick since this is not specifically a lubricant I am gonna spray some WD up in there Valve up in here, reassemble. Valves in now. What we have to do to get our lapping fixture in is put the valve uh, firing in. Here is our firing, it is going to seat right there. I want to make sure that that surface is good and clean, doesn't have anything. We don't want any lubricants on it before we put our valve lapping compound on there. Just mixing it up in here before I spooge some out.
the reason I'm going to go ahead and put it on here is because it's going to be real tough to get to it once I put it on the wastegate. And then I have to install the V-Van to hold this in place where it needs to be. Just a few little dabs. And we'll put the other half of the V-Van on. And I probably got the wrong V-Band. Okay, we're back. We have the proper V-Band this time. You can see it's the made up flush. So you need a 3-0. Yeah. Which is not that great considering they're offset. Uh, you know, the pieces are drilled together. Flush, but when it's in here, it's kind of like that, so you can see. That kind of screwed in. That's nothing, nothing major. Anyway, I just need this to hold this in place to get rid of all of them. So that doesn't have to actually be tight. But I'm going to put it in the vise just to hold everything still. Different way.